Hi, Arsenal 3D here. Let's keep going here. Let's look at the references of the eye to make a real time eye for gaming characters. Now we look at some references and figure out what it is and what exactly what we are going to need. And then we are going to figure out how to technically pull all that off. I just have a diagram of the eye to show you which areas are important, what areas are we going to make and how to make. So now we look here that eye is not actually a sphere. So you have a small bulge of cornea here in front. And inside it is filled with liquid and that liquid causes the refraction. So we need to solve how to get bulge and refraction to look correct in the gaming engine. Then we make the interior section like the pupil, the iris. And then here comes this part we are not going to make. The mechanism of eye is like that light passes through this perfectly smooth cornea bulge which is transparent. Then it comes iris which is a muscle that controls how far it's going to open. Which allows light to pass through and hit at the back of the eye. Which is the retina that captures the light and sends information through the optic nerve to the brain to process it. The iris works like the aperture of a camera so when it's bright outside your muscle of iris will close down to small. So it allows light to come to the retina and when there is dark outside it widens up to allow more light to hit to the retina. I collected some reference of an eye to getting a good idea of model and texture. I also attached a board to Pinterest for you so you get all references and textures you need to make an eye. Just look out all images and get better idea of shape and look development. It is pretty interesting how detailed some of these photos are. We are going to use this image as image plane to get correct scale of eye. This image is very good for look development and we are going to fake everything as we are not going to render it. So it looks like it is filled with liquid and cause refraction due to that. So let's hope into the Maya. Let's just import the image we are going to use it for image plane. I already attached this image to my pin interest board. Now make a sphere and adjusted it as per reference. I am just putting value 2.37 as per the real scale of the eye in centimeters. Make sure you have centimeters here. Now let's just adjust our image plane according to the sphere. Now I am adding some segments to add an edge for iris. Just using freeze transform. Add making a copy to make bulge for cornea. Now detaching the back portion and deleting it. Just snap to vertex and place to the right position like this. Maybe little backward. Scaling it little bit to match backward edge. Now just deleting back face which I did not want. Now it's time to delete face from this sphere and make a hole of correct size of bulge. Now combine meshes. 
Now merging the vertices and press 3 for smooth mesh preview. Deleting the history. The bulge is too big so let's adjust it. Yes that what I am looking for bulge part. Now let us make UV for this part. Deleting the old UV. For UV using camera based UV from the front view as its most important and most visible part. Now cutting seems to have a better resolution at front. And now adjusting accordingly. And scaling down back UV shell as it's not going to visible when placed into the characters. Let me just save my Maya scene. Let's name this mesh with the cornea. Now duplicate this mesh and name this eyeball. Now grab the cornea mesh. Scale a little bit so it just sits outside of the eyeball which will be a transparent mesh of eye. Now just freeze transforming my meshes. Now make another copy of it. Name it as cornea underscore LP. Now naming this cornea as cornea underscore HP now making a group of both cornea meshes. Name it as cornea underscore GRP hide this group. Now select eyeball. Duplicate the eyeball and name it as eyeball underscore LP. Now group both eyeballs. And name it as eyeball GRP now hide eyeball LP mesh. Now it's time edit eyeball HP mesh. Now select this edge and detach the component. Now I am just selecting these faces and rotating at 90 degrees to make ident here. And now snap the faces to the vertices. Scaling down a little bit to get lesser indent here. Now just inversing my face normal as I just flip this mesh. Now merge the vertices. Press 3 to get a smooth preview. As you see we get nice mesh here. This will give us an ability to have a highlight on this side and shadow on another side.
and if we bake this on our low poly eyeball mesh that has bulge so we can easily get things that what we want. So now we want to bake our high poly mesh to our low poly meshes. Let's choose to render menu sets here. Now go to lighting and shading. Choose transfer maps. Just reset settings so you do not have custom settings. Now we edit settings for this panel to bake normal maps. Let me hide this eyeball group. Select cornea high poly and put smooth on this. Carefully choose cornea low poly into target mesh. Carefully choose cornea high poly into source mesh. Now we come to output maps. Click on this normal ball. Choose JPEG here. Make sure tangent space is selected. Disable this. Choose location where you want to save your maps. Now choose the desired resolution of maps and choose high sampling here. Now just click on bake and close. Now it's time to bake eyeball. But before baking eyeball, I want to give a quick tip. If you get some error in normal maps to make sure you soften edges to get correct results. Just choose mesh and shift right click go to soften and harden edge. Then choose toggle soft edge. Now you see here only one edge is hard so we just soften all edges. So make sure you do that before baking to get the best results. Now it's time to bake eyeball. Select eyeball high poly and put smooth on this. Now just repeat the steps as shown before. Just make sure select eyeball low poly in target mesh. And eyeball high poly in source mesh. Now click on bake and close. I just show my output normal maps. So this is cornea normal. And this is eyeball normal. Now opening my up and exporting our low poly meshes. Make sure to select these options here. Now open a Marmoset tool bag. Let us import our meshes. Make sure you have centimeters here. Name it as a cornea. 
Now make another material and drop this to eyeball mesh. Now name it an eyeball. Now select cornea and drop cornea normal into the slot. Now go down here to the transparency and choose add function here. As you see we get our cornea here. Now select eyeball material and drop eyeball normal into the slot. As you see we get fake refraction into the eyes which is looking very good. Now open Photoshop to make base texture or color map for the eyeball. For you, I just make a board where you can download eyes texture for free just search Pinterest for Arsenal 3D. And look for an eye reference board. Open this link. Which will direct you to this link. Go down to this section. You can choose whatever you like for your character. I personally like this one. So using the snipping tool for screen grab. Now just copy this. Now opening my eyeball normal map in Photoshop. Now pasting it here. Manage accordingly. Right now just cleaning this layer so I have just iris texture only. Select and press Ctrl I to inverse mask. Now just cleaning my mask. Putting white background to clearly erase unwanted parts. Now right click on the layer mask and choose to apply layer mask so you get a clear layer. Now adjusting my iris accordingly. Let's bring some references to texture other parts of eye. Let's see what we can use. Just using transform tools and masking to make an even texture all over.
Now taking a solid color layer to blend in some color and using masking in conjunction. Edit to match the desired output. Now making a mask for this layer. Adding a Gaussian blur to the mask so we get a soft edge at the end of iris. Adding black color to this area. Editing level as per my need. Choosing the right color to blend in. Now cleaning my texture with the clone stamp tool and using the paintbrush tool. So this is the diffuse map that we get till now. Now we save this texture and test in Marmoset. Now select eyeball material and put our diffuse texture in albedo map slot. I have deleted the previous file. So now I just making material for the cornea. Going down to the transparency panel and choosing add here. Edit specular accordingly. Go to a web browser and search for Juiced Van Hout. Go to his website and then choose this Hydri which very cool for environment lighting. Now select sky from here to put our downloaded Hydri here. You can also choose the default environment from here. I like this one. Now go to the normal tab then right click and choose parallax, but we have to make a parallax map in Photoshop. I made the group of all layers to clean up my scene. Now select the iris layer and duplicate layer. Now double click this layer. Choose Gradient Overlay here. Now manage scale accordingly to your needs. So our parallax map looks like this. Now save it and put this in Marmoset. Click on this height map slot and put parallax map here. Now you can edit depth to get the iris function like this. Now unhide our cornea reduce specularly. You to see we get the very cool effect from this parallax map. Now hiding cornea. And also edit gloss to get wet eyes. Editing the specular. Now we work on spec maps to control the specularity of the eyeball.
Just desaturate the layer for spec map and edit the contrast. White means more specular and black means less specular and grays are mid value of specularity. Right now using different tools for getting correct black and whites. So after editing your spec map, your map should look more or less like this. Now just saving my spec map. Now put spec map in specular map slot. Now we have better specular as compared to previously. You can edit as per your need. Now it's time to make a normal map from it. Just cleaning my file. Now we are going to use normal filter if you do not have just search normal on the internet and download the software. After installing it you have these filters in your Photoshop. Now using normal map filter on this. To amplify effect just copy the layer and set blending mode to overlay. Now it's time to make a gloss map. Right now just using normal. Now just desaturating my normal map to use as gloss. And applying exposure to editing black and whites. Now just saving as gloss map to test it. Now just inserting gloss map in gloss map slot. Now let me unhide our cornea. You see we get a very nice output here. But now I want to edit my gloss map. Now it's time to add subsurface scatter. 
Increase scatter depth. And test some color that suits you. Now I want to rework on my specular map. For this I just disable gloss map edit glossiness by slider. So this is what I am looking for. Now I just unhide cornea. Now we work on a normal map for cornea. Just select cornea material and right click here and choose the detailed normal map. And put the normal map here. You see we get very nice information about details here. But we won't need a normal map at the front to it's time to clean this up. For clean this just uses mid value gray and applies normal map filter onto it. Now you see detailed veins at the back part and clean area at front. Now it's time to import model for scene setup. Let put materials on this geometry. Just click here there are many preset you can choose from I choose plaster here. Now click on this plane. Right click here. Choose triangle so your geometry gets some extra poly so you get some displacement effect better. Now play with height depth. You see you get very nice depth information. Now click on render. Enable local reflection and internal reflection. Enable GI also so you get realistic lighting effects. Also enable ambient occlusion. Now editing some settings to get best output.
Now selecting both eye meshes and tilting them a little bit so we get some interest in the scene. Now go to the scene and add an extra camera for rendering. Go to capture tab and choose a setting to set the rendering frame output. Now select the camera from here and enable a save frame. Now choosing the sky here. And selecting blurred sky. Now adding some light into the scene. Add placing that light behind the eye to get some nice rim lighting. Now adjusting things to get good results. Also, increase the size of light to add blur into the shadows. Now adding color to light to add some interest. Now make materials for this sphere. Selecting my render camera and choosing tone mapping to filmic to get the right color. Adding some vignette. Now it's time to add some depth of field. You have to test various settings to match your scene. You see we make a very detailed and nice eye in less than one hour. I make some adjustments to the scene by scaling an eye to add some interest to the scene. Let me show you some variation I made with the following same workflow. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So subscribe to my channel to get hit the bell icon to get updates on more tutorials like this.